Hello everybody. Thank you for tuning in. For the returning subscribers, welcome back. So today we are going to make some chips masala. Like it's not your normal chips, it's chips masala. So over to the ingredients that we'll use. We'll use some potatoes. These are chopped potatoes. I've already peeled them. So they are chopped and ready for deep frying. We are going to use some onions. We are going to use this barbecue sauce and this tomato sauce. So people make like chips masala very differently, different ways. And this is just my ways. It's simple to make and it's not complicated, guys. So you can choose to add dania and any spices of your choice. But this is just a simple way of doing it. This is just my, my way of doing it, guys. And we reached 1,000 subscribers. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And I'll be bringing you back-to-back -back recipes. So keep, keep tuned. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing to your statuses, to your family and friends. And let's reach to 2,000 subscribers, guys. So let's begin. Okay, what you'll need next is your oil to be so hot. For nobody, Jafika, your hotness, it needs to be so hot so that the chips can be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Over there is where I'll put my chips after I've deep fried them. Over there, over here, over here, over here, over here. It's where I'll put my, my chips after I've deep fried them. Then I'll show you next what I'll be doing. But still over here is the I'm waiting for it to be hot. The oil must be hot. I'm using this pan. It's my favorite for deep frying. I love it so much. So this is what I'll be using. You see over here it has a it, it, it has like a, a funnel where I can pour oil after I'm done. This is why I love it. <laughs> over there. So, let's wait for the oil to get hot. I'll be showing you guys how to see if your oil is hot. I'll show you right now, like in a minute. I'm just waiting for it to be hot. So, let's see. Not yet. You see? Oh, it's ready. It's not ready, you see? When you just dip it like this and the bubbles comes to the... To the warus, it's not ready. To the potatoes, it's now ready. You see, you see. I'll put some warus now. Now it's ready for the frying. See you back when the, I've, I've already defried my warus. Then I'll show you what to do next. Our warus are still doing great. You see. As you can see them, they are so crispy on the outside and so, so, so soft on the inside. Okay. Now I'll just be removing them little by little until I'm done with the batch. After that is when I'll be... I'll be frying them with onions so that you can make the masala. They are so perfect, guys. See you. Let me remove and add some more. I'll see you then. Well, guys, I'm on my last batch. Imagine within like 10 minutes, I'm almost done. This is achieved by making sure that your potatoes are dry and making sure the oil is so, so, so hot. So... This is how the potatoes look. Let me, you can see this. It's so crispy on the outside. <clears throat> and so, so, so soft in the inside. Hmm? And so guys, I've decided to add the, the, the green peppers. Or what do we call them? Ho-ho. I've decided to add them last minute. I was not to add sequence the ongeze. But we decided the ongeze last minute since I wanted to balance the starch. At least cook when I have vegetable in between. I was to make guacamole. 
but my avocado is not doing justice so i'll just leave it on the side and uh, i don't feel like making a kachumbari so i've decided to just put in the hohos and we'll see the it goes so guys here's the last last batch you can see to make sure that you are warus properly proper properly <laughs> To make sure the vizuri, make sure that the waru level and the oil level is the same, mm? and make sure that your warus are so 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 dry. Mm? If this is going to achieve the perfect perfect mixture that we want, so guys, I'll catch up with me. Keep keep subscribing, guys. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing. Keep liking. Keep commenting. Let us grow. Let us grow, babes. Let us grow. So next, I'll be showing you how to make to make the masala. Next, after he he kishaiva, you are doing it next. And remember that it's so easy. It's so easy. Like it takes almost like thirty minutes. You can make this for your kids, for your family. And I'm telling you guys, mm -mm, this is a is a deal breaker with that many of you guys. That menu of yours with dangles and with motion. I'm not saying that they are bad, but if you want just to make it special, maybe on the weekend, you can do this. It's just about that you need to peel the onions, uh, you peel the warus, you define, then I'll show you next what we'll be doing. Keep it locked. So, guys, on your pot, um, you are going to add some onions and some a little bit of oil. We fry them they should not turn golden brown they should just be clear like they be caramelized mm. they should not be so brown they should not cook to perfection they should just be caramelized so i'm going to change this spoon since this is an unstick we're not going to use a steel spoon guys don't use a steel spoon on an unstick I'm going to use a wooden spoon. I'm going to use this wooden spoon of mine. Wait till they are caramelized. Then I'm going to add the hohos and my sauces in. Still, you can still add your spices, your black pepper if you want, your turmeric if you want to. You can add your spicy skin, but personally, I don't love it. I just love it like this. Hmm? This is the clear that I was talking about, you see. You should not, like, cook so much. I'm now going to add my hohods in. This hoho. They should not cook so much I've not added so much oil since the chips already have oil we're not going to let the hohos cook so much just a little bit so if you have your garlic your um, ginger you can add everything i'm just going to add a little bit of salt just a little just a little Hey, I'm now going to add my sauces in. This is my barbecue sauce. Uh, here you can. Then I add my tomato. My tomato. So if you have ketchup, you can add. So 
So after adding your um, ketchup and and tomato sauce and barbecue sauce, whatever thing you like to add, you add a little bit of water, just a little bit. Just a little bit of oh, oopsie. You see, now we have this big sauce. Then after this, we are going to add our potatoes inside. Hmm? Inside here. We have now added our potatoes in. We are just going to give it a nice mixture. A beautiful mixture. Let me mix. Let me mix up nicely. Then I'll show you the results, guys. As you can see, it's already looking yummy. Let me just give it a nice mixture. Then I'll show you the results. This is how our mixture is looking up. Remember, don't mix up so much so that it avoids the breaking of the potatoes of the chips. And I can tell you guys, this is going to be a yummy, yummy, yummy meal. Mm -hmm. Try this. You can add your paprika if you love the, the reddish color or for cosmetics, whatever. But this is how I love mine. You see? They look so amazing. It turned out perfect. And I'm loving it. You see? This is how it looks. This is how I make my masala. This is the end result, guys. And let me tell you, this masala fries is so amazing. Make them and tag me uh, or in the comment section. Give me the way you make yours. Let us engage, guys. Keep it locked. Till next time. Bye-bye.